August 15th, 2012, it's 13 hours and 26 minutes into the day, and it's time for the first segment of uh, this episode of Big Bang Theory RL. Yeah, we're just getting started. Uh, did my usual morning, uh, usual morning, morning routine of checking everything around, of, of, of checking the systems, uh, checked the email, uh, and did a, vari- did a variety of other things like that. Just sort of the mundane things. And so now I'm going to get the rest of the day started. I don't really have that much to say right now, so I'm going to leave this short. And uh, I'll talk to you. Uh, I'm going out for uh, a couple hours uh, to a friend's funeral. Uh, his wife died, sorry, as I mentioned. And then I'll be back probably around 7, 8 o'clock. We'll see. I might have to go food shopping, so we might take you there if that happens. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens. And I'll check you later, uh, maybe around 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock. All right, take it easy. It's 23.54. And this is the second segment for Wednesday, August 15th. Yeah, the Big Bang Theory uh, episode. Big thing, the Big Bang Theory episode. Uh, Big Bang, you know, no. The Big Bang Theory RL episode um, for August uh, 15th. Yeah, that's what it is, August 15th. Uh, 2004, 2012, uh, and you see my, I'm tired enough that the, the days can kind of have a hard time rolling off the tongue. Mm, yeah, we're just about uh, hit, hitting the midnight hour, the zero hour. Um, been a, a relatively long day. But it kind of makes you th- this type of day makes you think think as well because I was at a funeral. Uh, one of my friends that I grew up with, uh, one of the, that I grew up with, uh, his wife just passed away. So all, you know, all of a sudden from a brain a- from a brain aneurysm. Um, and I haven't seen even though I grew up with him, I haven't seen him since his wedding was maybe five to seven years ago. Um, you kind of lose touch. I was the type of person that, uh, because I didn't go to the parties and stuff like that, uh, I kind of lost t- after high school. I kind of lost touch with a lot of the people that I sort of knew in high school. Like uh, I, I, he's my brother's age, so he hung around more often than not in school with my brother. I hung out with a different crowd that I don't see anymore. Uh, I haven't seen since high school. Uh, I, I don't know if there's been a high school reunion at all. Uh, I never received any information if there was. But that doesn't really matter, neither here nor there anyways, because, I don't know, I'm happy with the way life goes. And that kind of gets you thinking that when you, uh, you, you are at a funeral and you're sitting around and you're t- talking with people and you're just sort of hanging around, there's not really not much to say. Although there is a somewhat of a reflection on your life to some degree, and in addition to some uh, reminiscent if you grew up with the person. The thing is, is that, that uh, one of the reasons why I find there's not much to say, because normally when you have a conversation with a person, a large chunk of what you say is about yourself. But when you're at a funeral, you're not there to feed your ego or represent yourself or present yourself in a manner that you have, uh, you know, in terms of uh, how well or not well you've done in life or, you know, 
that they you know your 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 social status is not is not meant to be on display there simply because you're there for the other person. If that's what that's typically what funerals are for. There is the bereaved there and if you're close to the bereaved, then you're there for them and not for yourself. This sort of comes as a shock to many people and myself as well, that that you're not there for yourself, but you're there for somebody else. And you have to sort of sit back and take the cues from them as to what you're going to say and not going to say. And sometimes, particularly for a person like myself, because uh, I live a large chunk of my life by myself, there's no one around here, uh, it's rather complex to come out and say something that is not about myself, because uh, I primarily live by myself. I don't have uh, stories about other people that I can say or talk about because I'm not in contact uh, with other people in, in the way that other people are. I, I don't sit on the phone and talk to people and find out what's going on in the community and the or or or, or oh, in the family or whatever. And I, I'm not that type of person. Not a gossiper. I'm not a person who's, it, it, not necessarily in a bad way, but, it's, you know, I don't sit around with people and chew the fat type of thing. And sort of finding out, you know, what stories are going on, what things are not going on. I'm watching a documentary now on PBS on the, on floor traders, uh, the stock exchange. But it's that these things kind of get you to thinking about where you are in life, where you're going in life. Uh, you see people there who are rich, you see there people there who are relatively poor. Uh, you see people who have gone through different things, there are different stages in their life. You know, the old, the young, and the uh, in-between. And you, from myself, but anyway, you come away with an assessment. And uh, not necessarily a, a, a full assessment, you know, that you completed a full assessment, but an assessment of where your life has been to this point and where you think you might be going to next. And that's kind of the day it's been today. And one of the executive decisions that I decided to make in terms of where things are going now is that... Uh, it's not always possible, although I've been trying to do it to get one episode per day, but sometimes what's going to have to happen, and this is what's going to happen tomorrow, is that you're going to get two episodes in one. This will sort of get us to be caught up so that uh, everything is a okay. So this is going to be put together with another episode, and you'll see both episodes put together and put out at the exact same time. So. That uh, <laughs> we can have the proper pushing out of the days. So that's the way things are going to go now. Uh, I've still got another couple hours of documentaries to go through. Then I've got some uh, videos to shoot. Uh, it's going to be a interesting and a, a sort of a longer night than I expected. So. We will see what happens, and then I'll see you probably tomorrow. Or there might be a third segment. I'm not too sure. Either way, adios. Professor of what? Professor of physics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.